make chicken curry. This recipe is highly requested recipe. So let's get started how to make it. Here I'm using chicken, one medium size soft onion, one medium size tomato, soft tomato, two spoon of ginger and garlic paste. Here is my another dry ingredients that is bay leaf, cinnamon, cardamom, one spoon red chili powder, half a spoon of turmeric powder, one spoon salt, one spoon garam masala powder, half a spoon of cumin powder, one spoon coriander powder, and one fourth spoon of cumin seed. Here is my soft coriander leaves and pinch of sugar. In a pan, I have added 3 spoon of vegetable oil. Now add bay leaf, cinnamon and cardamom and also add cumin seeds into the hot oil. Now add the soft onion into the hot oil and let it cook for 1 or 2 minutes or until it looks soft. Stir it in between other ways it will get burned. Onions look perfect and it's time to add salt in it. Again give it a stir. Now add ginger and garlic paste into the onion and mix it well. Add turmeric powder into the onion mixture and give it a stir. This spicy mixture is looking very beautiful and also smell is wonderful. Now add soft tomato into the spice mixture and give it a stir. It will be a very nice paste. Now put the cover and let it cook for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, now check the tomato and spice mixture and give it a stir again. Just break the uncooked tomatoes with a spatula. Now add the chicken. Mix it well with the spices. Put the cover and let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes. After 3 minutes in medium heat, now give it a good stir. Smelling very beautiful. Yes, they are looking very perfect and yummy also. Now I am going to add my other dry ingredients, coriander powder, cumin powder and also red chili powder into my chicken curry. When my chicken curry will cook perfectly, in that time I will add my garam masala powder. Now give it a good stir. Looking so yummy. Again put the lid on and let it cook for 4 to 5 minutes in medium heat. After 4 to 5 minutes in medium heat, now I am going to add sugar into my chicken. Don't add too much sugar, otherwise it will be very sweet. Again give a good stir. Now add one and half cup water into the chicken and give it a stir. Again put the lid on and let it cook for 5 to 6 minutes in medium heat. It has been 15 to 17 minutes in medium heat and my chicken curry is cooked perfectly and now I am going to add my rest of the garam masala powder into the chicken curry. Add coriander leaves into the top and they are ready to serve. Switch up the heat and they are done. Now transfer this into a serving plate or serving bowl and enjoy this chicken curry. You can serve this chicken curry with rice, sapati or any kind of flat bread. My chicken curry is ready. I am going to serve this with my rice today. I hope you guys love it. So thank you for watching. See you soon in another video. Take care. Bye bye.